already. So, so given that you've built this, and I think you're on the time crunch, I think it'd be better to look at broader body moves than versus uh, lip sync. I think the tricky thing is that given that you're inside a shell, you don't really have room for shoulder moves. I don't know if you can move anything around. It's, that's one of the things there, but you're doing an okay job with rotating this around. It's just tricky because you don't see hips, you don't see shoulders in terms of movement. I think in terms of this shot here, it's a bit... First off, you start off very um, twin, twins and uh, mirrored, if that makes sense. I think to really get a sense of who the character is, just in terms of presenting things, because you want to point here. I personally would bring this arm down, keep this one here, and then keep that not so high so that it's not obscuring the face. So you're only going this high. Like That range would be lower, so you have a bigger focus on this one. And then you can have a bigger little flourish with an arc out to push this. Because right now you have a lot of moves here and then this. And I think this is the bigger interest. So personally, I would reduce this so that you can really focus on something small here, but something bigger here with the big anticipation to hit this, since that is the important part. You have here, you have three fingers. That's all pretty cute. You know, it depends how detailed you want to go. Like on a step like this, I wouldn't keep this flat. I would keep this aligned to the shin so that the shoe is a bit more like this. And then getting a bit of a corner hit first, then flattening for kind of polishy stuff. But again, it depends what you want to do. Like stuff like that feels just a bit straight. I would look at arcs. I would avoid having things kind of move and stop at the same time. You also have moments where this comes down and then over one frame changes direction like this and it goes back down. Same thing here, you go and then you're sticking over one frame for like an IK, it's like an IK arm. And then you come over, so it's just kind of looking at the spacing or as your arm comes over here and then your body moves over there, you would have a little bit of a drag in that arm and then the arm comes over for a, an overlap there. So it's stuff like that. Again, I'm still not sure if you have time to implement stuff like this. And the same thing here where when you have something where it's here and then as you push, you kind of go away from us. It's not as clear as it could be. It's already fairly small. If there's any way, personally, I would bring this character a bit more over here. I know it's tricky because you only have this step, but you can always do on this anticipation over that could be instead of that could be another step. Anything where it's a bit further this way so that you have a nicer view, bigger view of the arm. And that arm has more range, but even a bigger arc to push against that. Because it's highlighting certain things. This one is a bit it's kind of the same as just before where you have a big move and then it suddenly stops. It looks like it hits a wall. If you would stop this so quickly, one of those books would fly up and come back down. So it's kind of the spacing. Make sure your arcs are there and your spacing doesn't go this and then stop. It has more of a ease in and then back out into something else. Rest is pretty good, but then what happens here is that you're also A, coming to a full stop, where nothing is really moving except this. I will keep going with the keep alive. The tricky thing is that all of this is obscuring the face and it's obscuring this. So personally, in terms of a bigger change, I would have that, and as it tries to balance all this, actually go down with the book, or with the books, right? So that arm is down here, books are here, so that we see the face, and again, we see the arm moving over to point at this. So otherwise, it's just all a bit lost. This is fairly complex and pretty cool. I like this. It's not... If you go through here, you have all your nice throw with pretty good spacing, even though this gets a bit big from here to here and then kind of slow or small, I would probably overshoot a bit more and get that into a bigger arc. Still trying not to cover the face, but 
little thing on that. Again, this is just the, the issue of not shoulders, right? This would go up in terms of shoulders, would be a different pose, but can't really do that. This is one of those where I'll be careful in terms of your arcs. It's not too bad, though. I think it pushed those arcs a tiny bit more, but I like that. I like that. You have that drag on the head. I think that's pretty cool. You could potentially, I personally would leave this here so that on this frame, body is here, but it brought down the arms first. Then on that frame, you would have the body go down and then the head at the end. Just a bit more of a, that egg would not bring down the body, would bring down the arms first and then come down like that. But it's still pretty cute. Again, detail things. I don't know if you have time for this, but like this kind of, pops out i would ease out of that a bit more and you would kind of change the finger pose before the arm moves that's cool though i like how softly you bring it down I think that's a really nice touch this goes a bit to arc stuff again where it's a bit flat you can kind of be a bit more elegant with those arcs there this one's tricky because it's it just feels like really over exaggerated breaking here that rig though but i see that i know you have to get out with the foot but again detail stuff i would probably keep the foot like this so you can see the black here so that when you push then it flattens the shoe so it's not so dead here nothing is moving and potentially before you jump find a frame it's tricky because then it's going to coincide with the foot but where i would lean in with this more and move the head up so that there's a bit more of a <gasps> moving over versus just magically popping out there's not that much force in those arms to really push that guy out here just so they will be a bit more of a lean of the of the head coming out just trajectory wise be careful it feels like it goes this way and then whoosh, goes up this way so switch out so that that arc works a bit better that's all pretty cute i like that it's a nice arc in there switch out we're getting a bit aligned here maybe bringing that arm a bit lower a nicer contrast That's pretty cute. Again, I would probably not cover the face and find an arc where you can where you can go up and maybe then do the wave there. And just be a bit more uh, just cleaner in terms of what we're presenting. He's still talking. It's cute though. And then watch out again. The animation kind of ends at the end and nothing's moving over those couple of frames. So keep going with the keep alive on that arm and, and the body. Alrighty. Good stuff though. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.